This is a much more up-tempo type game than Flint Northern has been used to during the playoffs. There's Cleves this time. Anderson had hit for Pershing, and Cleves coming back in there and drawing the first foul. We highlighted Antonio Smith, but this young man, Mateen Cleves, is a strong, strong player. He started as a ninth grader. You see him go in hard, focusing, concentrating, takes it into the big fella. Mateen is the starting quarterback for the football team for Flint Northern, so he knows what it's like to go at hard people. Mateen with that real quick move, put up the shot, got a little iron, and it drops in. Mateen Cleves. Keep in mind, Walton is only a junior. Well, sure, fitting out that time to Anderson. He finally missed one. And Cleves dishes off to Antonio Smith. Smith will get the bucket, and he'll draw the foul. Classic case of being too unselfish at the wrong time. There's Cleves driving. Reverse layup. One around two defenders. Doughboy slow it down a little bit. Toriano Williams puts it up. Little eight-footer drops. Did a pretty good fake that time, but Cleves is coming right back. The quick outlet back and two quick baskets. Cleves with eight points now. Walton on the turnaway jumper that time to start off the second quarter. He was a little bit surprised that he got the ball, but still managed to have the good hands and the turnaround jumper paid off. Cleves puts it up on the drive. He has got such great upper body strength that most players aren't capable of doing that kind of shot because they just simply don't have the arm strength. So Cleves in the backcourt bringing the ball up by himself just on his wing on the left. Inside they go in the middle. Harvey left alone almost to the foul. Cleves loops pass underneath and goes. And that time Antonio Smith on a reverse slam there. I'm sure that Northern did not expect this kind of game from Winford Walton. Even though he's averaging 20 points, they saw him yesterday against Cooley. He did not play anywhere near like this, and I'm sure he's created some surprise for the Smith brothers inside. Cleves was double teamed and still made it down the lane to lay it up. 1.3 left. Williams. No basket. No basket. The buzzer had sounded, and no basket for Williams. So. Bear Smith saving that one that time. Comes back to Cleves. Cleves drives. Chris off. Found the open man at the baseline. Antonio Smith. What's happened now, Mateen has done a great job scoring penetration first half. Bear Smith now. As they put him on wall. Ball stolen that time. And Cleves oh, oh, oh. says, all right, let's get things going. And Cleves showing a little emotion after making that shot. And Northern within one. Detroit Pershing wants a timeout. So with 6-19 to go in the third quarter, Pershing's lead has been cut to 44 to 43. And we're back at Pershing trying to find some scoring if they can. They uh, had a halftime score of 44. And the key was that half court with a double team. Mateen just huge on the slam. I mean, this guy's only listed about six foot. But he just went up powerful with that slam dunk. A lot of emotion, and I'm telling you, Ray, that's the first time I have ever seen in three years that kind of emotion on Mateen Cleve's face. Smith hits on that second effort from the line. The pressure applied by Flint Northern. The long pass is stolen by Flint Northern. Now, double team just gets it back. Cleve passing it. Antonio Smith with the layup. And hello! Flint Northern goes out on front, 46 to 44. Somebody just woke up those fans. From the corner, nothing but net for Deontay Harvey. He may be warming up for the second uh, half. Walton tries to get the handle on it, but couldn't do it. And rebounded by Massey. Follow up that time on a good play as a trailer, Mateen Cleve. And now coming back into the lineup, Mateen Cleves. So good to see him back in there. Fake the shot like he was going to the basket and a bullet shot that went to the big guy, Antonio Smith, for the slam. And that was not a shot, people. He That's actually right. passed it, knowing on the spin that Antonio Smith would be there. 
The Doughboys got to get something going. Difference for Northern in this half, Ray, is so many people like Gis being active that weren't in the first half. Three on one, a shot goes down and foul. As Deontay Harvey lays it up for two on the field in this half, he's three for four. And three for nine for the game. That'll tell you what's going to happen. Williams has the shot blocked that time. And there's nobody back at all. And the layup. Cleves lays it up for his first two of the fourth quarter. Williams gets the layup that time. Well, if there's a bright spot, that would be it. But I don't think much. Cleves with the layup. The underhand variety that time. And look at the defenders from Northern all getting back on defense. Pole loads it up. The rebound belongs to Flint Northern. Cleaves behind the back, but off the fingertips as Pole was back there to knock it out of bounds. 79 56. Flint Northern, 332 to go in this game. Classic fast break move. Take the ball inside. Nobody comes on you, then you go to the hole yourself. The team Cleaves knows how to play basketball. You see the move, crossover dribble, nobody picked him up, just takes it in strong. Great upper body strength. Really impressed not only with Antonio Smith and his brother Robert, but this overall team speed, and of course, certainly the great play at Cleves. Absolutely, but give a lot of credit to Detroit Pearson. And I tell you, final buzzer, and there it is as Flint Northern Wraps up the Class A crown, the championship of boys basketball. They won it 86 to 64. We're going to come right back. Don't go away. One of your sponsors is True Value Hardware. Thank you.